Jai Gurudev, Guruji, uh, one of the kinds of karmas that you've talked about in Patanjali Yoga Sutra is neutral karma. So if something is neutral, how can it, how can it be a karma at the first place? That's my question. Karma means impressions, actions and impressions. So some are like, which you like, some you don't like. But there are some things which neither you like nor you dislike. For example, taking shower or brushing your teeth. You can't say, oh, I enjoy brushing my teeth. <laughs> or you don't say, I hate brushing my teeth. Right? So you neither enjoy it nor hate it, but you need to do that, you do it. Correct? Similarly, combing your hair. Nobody says, oh, I enjoy so much, I am in bliss when I comb my hair. <laughs> Nor someone says, I hate combing my hair. If you hate, why do you have hair? Go to a barber and finish it all off. <laughs> no. So, that is neither a karma which you like nor you dislike. Which you have to do because it has to be done. And you don't mind it. That is neutral karma. Gurudev, you tweeted, tweeted a few days ago that either by getting fed up in life or with contentment, we have to turn the mind inward. You have also said that dry knowledge is of no use. Is it useful to go inwards with a fed up mind? Only then the mind will lose its fed upness. Yeah. A fed up mind is because it is going outward too much. And it's time to turn inward. It's like the vehicle is running out of gas. It's like asking, the vehicle is running out of the gas, should we go to gas station? Yes. Gurudev, are there different levels of self-awareness? If yes, please explain. Many different levels are there. You read the Patanjali Yoga Sutra or read the Yoga Vasishta, there's a lot of things mentioned. Yeah. How can we comfort someone who's troubled by guilt? Only knowledge can take them out of guilt. Knowledge and energy, positive energy. 